okay so this story time is about my paranormal experiences now I want you to let you guys know that when I was younger I had a lot of paranormal slash demonic experiences um, and I don't know if I'm telling you guys a few So I don't know if I was telling you guys all of them today, but I was telling you guys to remember. So I remember one time I was laying on my, first of all, they call them um, sleep paralysis. Now I don't care what any scientist wants to say. If you've ever underwent sleep paralysis, it is the most terrifying thing that you could ever experience. It is horrible. You cannot move, you cannot speak you cannot scream you can't do anything and you are literally it's almost as if you're transported not transported but you are made privy to another realm a spiritual realm and that's what i personally believe um so i have a lot of these sweet paralysis um stories so i just want to tell you, um, as much as i can remember so i remember one time i was and it happens a lot when i'm laying on my back so i can always tell when a sweet paralysis is going to hit or when in jamaica we say dopey when dopey i go hold me down when oh let me fix what is that yeah so i um, can always tell when dopey go hold me down when um when is that my body just start feel weird i'm feel i feel this heaviness so when i start to feel the heaviness my say yes there it is it yeah dopey there and you could feel it's like the hairs on your body began to begin to stand up so you could feel it right so me did know and me lie down and I felt the heaviness, but when I felt this body drop, so I felt the heaviness on that stay. When I felt the heaviness, when when I was supposed to get up to switch, like come off my back, I couldn't. It was too late. So I just laid there, scared, because I couldn't move. Now, whenever um the dopey will me down, I call it. You guys call it sleep paralysis. I'm calling it what it is dopey a hold me down or i'm being held down by demonic spirits if you're american or in another language so the dopey hold me down now um well, my grandmother i was my mother for to say jesus so my child said jesus and it now that my mouth moving but there's no sound my said jesus my mouth moving there's no sound so i would say it in my head say it in my head and then um I would I, i'd always keep my eyes closed because i know once i open my eye i'm going to see a demonic spirit I'm going to see ghost. Um, they have a name for this. They don't have a name for what we see. I think it's woman or something like something, something, some woman, something. But I know I'm going to see something if I open my eyes. So I opened my eyes, and what I saw was a man in my roof, in the ceiling, chained, and he was almost translucent, like a grayish color, and he was chained up to the roof. He was chained up to the roof. And he was looking at me and doing like this and just laughing at me and just laughing at me. And I saw it and I got so scared on top of me being already scared. So I saw that and he was doing this and he was laughing at me. And all I could say was Jesus in my head but it wasn't coming out. And normally how this sleep paralysis goes is like your body like a jerk out. So you try to move, 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 move. And your body jerk out of it and you come out and I look on your ceiling or on the roof and there's nothing there. Um, the what other time so the other experience is when i was laying down we had i think we had a deliverance session at church deliverance session okay i don't want to get into that but a deliverance session at church so i got home and i was lying down i got on my back and i felt the the heaviness again i felt the heaviness again and um I, I was just too slow to move from off my back so um, I felt it and of course it was there like dopey I hold me down so I closed my eyes as usual because I'm afraid to open my eyes whenever this happens so when my eyes are every time when my eyes were closed I'm struggling to get up like I'm struggling to get up I'm struggling to say something and I opened my eyes now when I opened my eyes I saw you know in the cart in the cartoon so they depict like baby demons when they're red and they're like little babies and they have the cutesy horns and cutesy tail that's what was on my belly standing up on my belly and his tail was wagging and from him was projecting on this side on the on my right hand side a uh, television thing is like a newscast was being read I don't know if it, a, new, a newscast was being read per se but that's what the man looked like like a newscast he had on a suit and he was just sitting like his shoulders really squared and he was just talking and it looked as if it was a newscast 
so while he was um the the demon was on my belly and he was to, um going back and forth and he was cussing and cussing and cussing but i couldn't hear he was like <laughs> and i was trying to understand what he was saying and I noticed nothing but while he was walking the 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 tv he is like he was projecting the tv onto nothing it wasn't projecting on a wall or nothing it was just like this little square thingy and it was being projected from him so yeah that was my second one <laughs> um what else ah uh, i mean i've had so many experiences um that i probably forget because there are so much i this this last one that i'm going to tell you about is sexual in nature and i don't know if you guys know about um the spirits called incubus and succubus i think but um back then i used to watch a lot of pornography when i was younger and um that's why i mean you know say what you want about porn and those in the porn industry or whatever but okay this is what i believe i believe that spirits drive everything would it be a good spirit or a bad spirit good spirit meaning god's angels bad spirit meaning um satan's people in satan's angels yeah so that's what i believe that's what I believe. I'm not saying it's not the teacher at my church. That's what I believe. So yeah. So um I used to watch pornography a lot. And um I went to my bed one time and I this is sound very weird, but the thing happened again where Dopia wore me down or I was being held down by a demonic or evil spirit. And I felt kissing on my neck. And I'm not talking some I mean, kind of kissing on my neck, and I felt hands grope. Look at me, <laughs> I felt hands groping my boobies, and something was kissing my lips, and it was tugging on my lip, like kissing my lip and tugging on it. Now, while that's happening, something was in my underwear touching oh, I don't even know if I should be showing this with you guys but what what certain things do like certain actions that you do that you're not supposed to they open a door and f the door for me was pornography that was my door and if I, if you ever hear about anybody talk about a foothold, it's like I gave those spirits a foothold. Meaning, because I've, I had opened up myself to pornography, I had given myself over to, as I said, I'm about to let spirits drive everything. I had given myself over to whatever spirit that drove what I was watching. I'm trying to tiptoe around my words because I know not all my viewers are Christians and I know. You know, somebody out there going to be watching and say, but pornography is not demonic. I, I know that, but I'm just telling you my experience. And I know for a fact that me by me watching pornography, it opened a door. So, um, yeah, so they were, I don't, it, it felt like two people. Because while I was being, like, kissed, I was being, it's like, I don't know, it felt like two people. Like more than one hands were on me. And when I was thinking about it in retrospect, I was like, yo, maybe that was like the incubus and succubus spirit that, you know, you know, that, that's how I, I don't know, 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 I don't know. And I've only shared this with friends, I've never shared this, shared it on such a large platform. I don't know what these story time videos are even going to be, like, what benefit is going to be except for entertainment purposes only. Um, so I'm not looking to... Um, introduce this to my channel or anything but I've been watching them a lot and I was like yo you know everybody has a story you know and it'd be fun to probably share mine with you but my stories aren't typical like that this 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 series like what I've been talking about since you no know, today is that my paranormal experiences and they run deep you know so um that's for the Christians out there thank God I have been delivered from everything you know I've been through the sessions um, yeah, so I'm not saying you know they're in their lurking. I'm just saying you know I, they're I've been delivered. So that part of my life has been defeated, and I'm no longer looking back. Um, but to you, I'm saying to you who, who are watching this, just be careful of the things that you open yourself up to, even if it's even if if you know you're known for for joking around a lot. You hear of the child that cried wolf? 
you know because he opened up himself to constantly fibbing when he was finally telling the truth nobody believed you know so be careful of what you open yourself up to be careful of what you open yourself up to be careful that's all i'm going to say i'm not going to tell you what to watch what not to watch just be careful Whew, that was that was deep okay so i don't want to talk about this anymore i don't know if this I don't, know if, I don't even know if these story times are going to take off, but just had to film a couple for you today, so yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.